Is it recording? Uh, it's just it's, it's black and red. Okay, do I have a little recorder up there? Yeah, it's a, a recorder sound up there. Oh, okay, so it's recording. Hello, HCG fam. This is B. Marie checking in, and I know it has been such a long, long time. I am now in P3, and today is August 20... What were we at? August 21st. So the 21st or 22nd? Yeah, it was the 21st. So, it's August 21st, and I know I haven't seen you guys in so long. I miss you. I've had YouTube withdrawals. I've been scratching because I'm like a hype, you know. I have Oh, it's because it's Sunday now. Okay. So, today is Sunday, September 20, August 22nd. Okay. Anyway, anywho. So, um, I don't have the proper terminology, but let me go ahead and tell you. My last injection day, which was uh Saturday, August 14th. Wow. Wow. August 14th, 20th. A test message. Okay. Can I finish the video? Okay. All right. Um, August 14th, which was last Saturday, was my last injection day. And I weighed in that morning at 163.6. That Sunday was 164.4. That Monday, 165.6. Tuesday, 163.6. Uh... Wednesday 165.4, Thursday 164.8, Friday 164.8, Saturday which was today, uh, that is crazy, I didn't write it down, so I have to let you guys know tomorrow because I'm going to do another video. So anyway, my stabilization weight is 163.6, so I can't go past, I can't go up to one. I can't go past 167.6 or go down beyond 159.6. So that gives me a four pound range. So I've been eating omelets this week with cheese, spinach, and vegetables. Uh, I added coffee with, um, because I wasn't really drinking coffee in P3. So I guess I didn't really add it. But then I added to my diet cheese. That was the biggest thing I added this week was cheese and eggs. Don't add coffee. So, huh? Don't add coffee. No, I'm just saying, I, uh, cheese and eggs was the two things that I added in my diet that I hadn't been doing in P2. So, officially, this week, cheese and eggs. So, I want to share something. My friend Sophie in um, Florida, she sent me this thing called Mobby, M-A-U-B-Y. And I was telling her about how I have these breakouts, and she had sent me uh, this. And she told me, she sent me the concentrated formula also, and she told me to add it to my favorite drink. And it's going to clear my face up. She also sent me some peppermint soap. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys about this peppermint soap. You wash your body with your regular soap, right? And then, you know, you think you clean. Then you put a little tiny drop of this peppermint soap on a loafer or a sponge or even your washcloth. Whichever gives you the lather. It takes off dirt that you didn't even know was there. And it smells good. So, I feel like cotton candy peppermint something when I get out the shower but this soap is like great oh my gosh but let me go back to this Marby Fizz she told me she wanted me to do this video because she wants me to drink it she said goes down sweet but it has a very 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 nasty aftertaste and tastes I want to like see medicine. it tastes like medicine my son said but it smells like Dr. Pepper or uh, root beer and so I'm going to drink this drink and I got see these blemishes like here I break out here oh wow I don't go that close I don't want everybody to see him that close man they so, couldn't see him they couldn't see him you gotta show him what's gonna be gone okay. see yeah, so you there see you go. Ah, okay so I get the breakouts going on right around my t-zone I guess that's my t-zone because I get it up here and so I break out really bad there yeah, um I guess because I grow hair. I get facial hair, man. I'm a woman. I'm 100% woman. And I get facial hair. Look, guys. Whoa. So, anyway. That's my son and his comments. Okay, so, Sophie, since you can't be here with me to drink this, here's to you. Let me get something um, like about this much. Also, we're going to um, do... Me and Tawanda are going to start PX90 at 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm going to try to record and edit. So I want you guys to check out the PX90. I'm going to work on the gut right here. This is my focus point. Um, I'm officially in a size 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm loving it. And here's to you, my YouTube family. Sophie, here's to you. And I'm, she told me to guzzle this down as fast as I can because it's going to taste good going down, but afterwards. So, one, 
two, three. Tastes like medicine. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. It was good going to oh my gosh, this oh ew. Okay, Sophie, you were right. Oh god. It wasn't that's that, gross. It wasn't that bad, mama. No, that's gross. It tastes it gotta taste it tastes like when you drink it, it tastes like root beer. And now it tastes like bitter ginger. Oh, God, that's gross. Um, So I'm going to go get some water. It wasn't that bad. Well, my son said it ain't that bad. To me, it's gross. But everybody got different taste buds. It's bitter. It tastes like ginger and just bitter. So I guess it got some ginger in it. But if this stuff works, I don't care how nasty it is. I will be drinking it every day until this stuff go away. So we're going to see how that works. So, again, it's a Jamaican drink. This is the one with the fizz, but the other one that she sent me is the concentrated formula. You can add it to water or your favorite beverage. And since um, I'm in P3, I'm, I have some uh, sparkling water. So, I'll be adding it to my sparkling water. So, Mobby Juice. I think I'm saying it right. It's a Jamaican drink, and uh, the aftertaste just went away. So it's not that bad anymore. It's just as soon as you finish it. And then it's like it's sweet. And then now it gets bitter. But it's not that bad. It really is. And I can, I can do this. Alright you guys. I love you. I missed you so much. And uh, I guess I will be talking to you guys later. Uh, Miss a gullible girl. I miss you. Tony. Holla back at us. See you guys soon. See you tomorrow. Peace out. What well, I press?